Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here representing Analytics Course and I want to share with you my Google Analytics checklist. And it's not just any checklist. This is the end all checklist for Google Analytics. We're going to talk about what I go through when I pay attention to an account, check all the boxes for whether or not you're set up successfully and understand how Google Analytics can work to your benefit. If you use this checklist, you are going to learn a lot about Google Analytics. You learn it from the ground up, from the inside out, and I think you really enjoy it. And I'm wearing my and I'm wearing my Google Analytics hoodie because one of the things you need to do is to make sure that your tracking code is in place. So there's step one, and figure out the rest of the steps in this checklist by watching this video. So we want to create a Google Analytics checklist. And first I want to start with a question, is there already an existing Google Analytics checklist? And the reason why I ask that is because Steve, who's a student in analytics course, wants to know if that exists. You see, he's relatively new to his agency and he just landed his first client and he wants to know, is there a checklist I can use to make sure that I'm doing the must do things in analytics? And obviously this is helpful for anybody just getting started in a new role. And Steve triggered a pretty great idea that I think might be useful for all of us who are getting our feet wet in Google Analytics. Personally, I don't know of any Google Analytics checklist that really fits the bill for what Steve is looking for, so I think we should make our own. Now, if I were to make an ideal Google Analytics checklist, I would probably start with an audit of the entire account. Now, this is making an assumption that the account already exists, that somebody has already created a Google Analytics account and put the code on their site and they are collecting data, in that case, I would perform an audit, a very thorough audit of the account to make sure that everything is being done properly and to really get an understanding as to what's going on inside of that. And really an audit checklist goes through tons of different points and might be divided into several other sub checklists. On the other hand, if you're doing a brand new Google Analytics account, you might want to have a setup checklist for people who are setting up a brand new Google Analytics account. So it works both ways. Existing accounts get an audit and new accounts get their own setup checklist. Within the audit template, I would specifically want to know, is there an analytics tagging checklist? Making sure that the tags are on every single page of the site. What is the checklist you go through to monitor the different pages of your site and make sure they are properly tagged? If you're on Google Tag Manager or looking to migrate at some point in time, you're going to want a Google Tag Manager checklist as well. What about a data quality checklist? What are the different points you go through to look to make sure that your data is high quality? Maybe looking for self-referrals, spam refers, internal IP addresses. How do you check to make sure you don't have junk data in so you don't get junk data out of your reports? A checklist to monitor the consistency of your views. Now that's a lot of words, it's hard for me to say that, but basically making sure that your views all have the same filters or unique filters if you want to, that they all track the same goals, that they're all set up consistently so you can compare the data side by side if you want to. A data integration checklist, making sure that your data is properly integrated across the different sources that Google provides you. This includes things like Google AdWords, Google AdSense, and even Google Search Console. Is your data integrated properly for the different channels that you utilize on your website? A goal audit checklist, how do you go through each of the goals that you have and make sure that they are collecting the right amount of data, that the data is useful, and that the data is giving you information that makes your business better? There should be a checklist for channel and content groupings, making sure that they make sense, that they are valuable to your business, and that you're going beyond just the plain defaults and creating something of real utility to the business. There should be a checklist for essential reports and dashboards. Basically, what are the different reports that every business needs to run? Or what reports do you need to run for your specific type of business, whether it's lead generation or e-commerce? And also, where can you find easy to use dashboards that accompany that data? If you want to dive deep into your data, you're going to need a checklist for that too. What can you look at in order to make sure that you are diving deep into the data and getting the most valuable insights? And not only that, but how do you annotate that deep dive so the rest of your organization benefits from it as well? A campaign tracking checklist. This one is super important. Anytime you send out a campaign, anytime you drive traffic to your website, you should follow this checklist in order to make sure that that data is properly being attributed to each campaign. Speaking of attribution, there should be an attribution checklist as well. 
How do you know which attribution model you should use for your business? How do you evaluate the models? And how do you get the most insights from Google Analytics attribution tracking? You should have an account access log audit checklist as well. Who's accessing your account? Who can get at the data? Who's making changes? And who can see the vital information about your business? And should they be seeing it right now at this point in time? Or should you be getting rid of their access or at least bringing down the access to something that's more manageable for your business? And finally, a data import checklist. When you import data into Google Analytics, you need to make sure you follow these steps and you would have a checklist to handle that as well. So those are my ideas for the type of checklists that we should build around Google Analytics. Now I want to know from you, are there any other checklists we should create? Are there any other checklists that you'd like to see? And finally, which one of these checklists should we create first? These checklists don't exist right now, but we're willing to create them. They're probably going to be a paid product, but we are going to create these checklists and make them available to people who are interested in learning more about how to audit your Google Analytics account and how to make sure you get more value out of the data you collect. So let me know by leaving a comment which one of these checklists you would love to see, which one you could not live without, and we will do our best to create that if we get enough votes. But your votes are important, so leave a comment letting us know exactly what you want to see in an analytics checklist.